years and years and it's something that served me incredibly well. So I wanted to share what that looked like and the, the reason and the prompt for talking about this today was at a networking event last night, the Six Star Business Network and if you, if you want to know more about that, please reach out to me, an amazing global network that's actually going to make a difference and will be one of the um, Airbnb stories of networking. Oh, I truly believe that. Let's get back to topic, collaboration. Who do I mean that you can collaborate with? Well, there's lots of options here, right? Uh, we're all familiar with, oh, let's do some business together and, and if I can help you, you can help me and let's do it in an informal way. No, don't do it that way. Let me share with you what I did in the years, years ago in a business that I grew to at a substantial number from zero to 30 million turnover. Now, that was not an overnight success. That was not easy, as you could probably appreciate. What it, what it required me to have done is to have years of experience of working in industry and knowing the industry intimately. The first few things that I did that made it work for me in my business was that A, yes, I had the experience, I knew the players in the market. I understood intimately what it was to play in that particular industry. I therefore knew what my competitors were doing in competition to me. Now you might think, well, well what? yeah, sure, that's, that's good research, Joanne. But who my target was to collaborate was, with was my competitors. Because what I realised was, at the time, we were a small business. You could think about us as a little orange speedboat. And I was going to be looking for the Queen Marys of my competitors. Because you know what I noticed was, if you look at those two boats, if you visualise that, a speedboat can pivot, can quickly change, can flex, get to market quickly. Yes, a large Queen Mary version of my competitors have presence, have brand, have the recognition. That's what I wanted to hang off. I wanted to leverage that. But they couldn't turn quickly. They couldn't shift. They couldn't stop. They couldn't change. They couldn't pivot, do any of those things. And so therefore, there was some, what I recognised was there were some gaps in their market that they weren't able to quickly to shift to. So the things that I did that made it work for me, and it, it wasn't easy, it took some time, but I managed to make uh, collaboration contracts with my largest competitors with five of them at one given point. So yes, I intimately knew how things were going to, um, what, what their gap was in their market. I knew how to fill it. I created the processes in place as I already had those agreements in place. I put the systems in place. I used automation. I had high tech, high touch component to my business. Once I had all that in place, because I was building a business anyway, I needed these things. But the only way that I could scale quickly and efficiently and well was to go and speak to my competitors and say, hey, I have this version of my business. We're exactly the same. I'm just this size. You're this size. I recognize that there's a gap in your market. How about I fill it? How about I make it really easy for you? Here are all the processes. Here's the flow charts of how we're going to do things, the workflows. Here's the systems I use. Here I'm going to make it really easy for you. You can have full clarity of what I do on your behalf to sell a product. So I was going to leverage off the products they had and the, and the uh, funding that they had. And I had created my own version of products to take it to market. This collaboration proved to be what the, the pivotal piece that made my business scale and grow incredibly fast. Now, you do have to hang on to your hat. You do have to have these systems and processes in place. So what can you do as a business owner? You might be single. You might have a small, a small team uh, and you might have aspirations to go large. And that seems pretty un overwhelming. As I said, know your industry intimately. Un so therefore, you will know who your competitors are. Do the research. How are they going to market? And can you see that what you do will complement what they do, will give them another edge in their market, but enable you to hang off their coattails, if you will, to build your business? If you can do that and you can take to them with confidence to say, this is how I do it. This is how you do it. Let's build a relationship. We've got to like, know and trust one another. So very critical here. Be really clear about who you're working with as your competitors. They need to be aligned to your values and your purpose and why you exist. Don't do business with people that don't connect with you at that level. Move on to the next one because there will be others. Because when you connect with business businesses or people, 
or in, your network where those that alignment doesn't exist that makes it really hard now let me tell you it makes it really hard it's going to be tough anyway so if you aspire to actually take control of your business and scale differently yes you can create more product yes you can put on more stuff and guess what you most likely will need to do that if you are successful in your collaboration Here's another idea about collaboration. What if you're aware you're a supplier, there's another supplier here that sell, sells something that complements what you do. What if you collaborate together, put an agreement, a formal agreement in place? Don't do it ad hoc. Don't do it casually. But if you put a formal agreement in place and you've got two players and you know that there's a bigger opportunity with a larger organisation or government or a tender opportunity or contract opportunity, why, do, why wouldn't you collaborate with somebody sideways to present together as a joint agreement to this large company to say, well, we can do this bit, you know, this, per, this company here that we're aligned with our values and purpose, their service is actually with ours, gives you the solution that you need. Why wouldn't you do that? You know, it's a win-win for all three parties then. So that's a little bit different again. So there's lots of choice here available to you. A lot of people are talking about how hard business is at the moment. Hey, guess what? Business is hard anyway. Don't do it alone. Find others that you can do business with. People that you can provide a service to through a direct collaboration. People that you can um, collaborate together with. Create a model together and present that joint offer to other organisations. Or potential customers. Why wouldn't you do that? So if you need to know more, contact me at navigatebiz, N-O-V-I-G-A-B-I-Z dot com. Lots of programs that speak to that. But the one thing that you can do, check out my Mentor Minute. It is a free 30-minute mentoring session with me. No obligation, but I will guarantee you, you'll get something to take away. You might even get some tools that you can implement straight away. And what you will get is some clarity about next steps. What are the things you're going to need to do next? That's free. If you want to, buy me a coffee. Happy to have it. Uh, Wick latte, no sugar. That's me on Zimmel. Uh, a little bit special there. But if you need to have a chat, a, have a sounding board, contact me through Mentor Minute. It's in my shop, uh, navigatebiz.com. I can't wait to see you. You have an awesome day. Hopefully, this has given you a few, few little sparks of ideas that how you can grow and scale from a different perspective. You have a great day. And I will see you next week. See you soon.